What is up y'all? Today is the day we had this place looking like a tornado came through here because we are about to install our tiny home wood stove. We're so excited. If you saw our video last week, um, we were getting ready to do that but didn't have all of our parts in. So today it's going down. Here is the little guy. So cute. Oh my gosh, it's not gonna look like this. We have just been to Lowe's and bought everything we need and Brandon has just begun uh, cutting our cement board that's gonna go underneath it. So I believe our plan here, we're gonna cut this and then tile it with this pretty little vintage looking tile. That is gonna be our heat shield for the wall. have ever installed a wood stove at your house none of the stuff matches and none of the stuff you buy you don't just buy a kit that does everything you get half of what you need in one kit half of what you need in another and then one kit says it doesn't work with the other kit and the other one it's all to keep them from getting sued that's what I found out in this house wood stove department eight inches back so it says we can go six so I think eight's good okay then we got 16 inches from the edge of something combustible that's 16 inches sweet so I know we mentioned this last week but we up to this point have had this propane <laughs> floating house probs <laughs> somebody just made a huge wake and everything's rocking really bad um Sorry, anyways, yeah, up to this point, we've had this propane heater, which worked fine as far as heating the house goes, but propane creates a ton of moisture, and we definitely have had a big issue with condensation on our windows in particular. So part of the idea with getting this wood stove was drying out the air, as well as using a more sustainable form of energy and saving money on propane, because we just have a ton of driftwood out behind the house that we'll be able to use, so that is awesome. That's your back Plus, it's adorable. Your backsplash is going to sit out like this. Okay. Okay. Oh, we need the spacers too. There you go. Okay, so... Honestly, I'm feeling like this looks very random, kind of awkward right now. But I'm super hopeful that as we put the piping in, it'll look a lot more like finished and like it's here on purpose. <laughs> and if not, then we have a little bit of creative thinking to do about how to finish it all out. So this is our little homemade coat rack that used to be on the wall where we are now putting the stove it was right here but would be a major fire hazard obviously so <laughs> we bought this uh twist lock double wall high dollar pipe you have this yeah this we gotta cut the wall out this is going to go right here. Yeah. What are your preliminary thoughts about it? I think it looks good. I think it's going to be good. You think so? I'm not too big on this sticking out this much. But when the log rolls out of there and hits it and doesn't hit the floor and burn a hole in our nice floor, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, if it could sit that close to the wall, we wouldn't need to. 
third tile, but okay. okay. So I think we're gonna call this um, a day because we need to go ahead and cut through the wall and we don't want it to snow all the little shavings down on the heat shield that I just painted. So we're all so hungry. <laughs> we will start back in the morning. I don't know. I really don't know you guys. I just feel not good about it. I don't know. It's just not what I pictured in my head and I'm not liking the way that it's so completely not tying in with anything here. I mean, we know we love the stove. Like that thing's adorable. It's it's more like this backsplash in the tile that I'm not loving. I don't know. I guess we'll just sleep on it and See what happens tomorrow. Good night. We said we were going to bed, but here we are. We've just been messing with it, and I feel like maybe what we were not liking is the awkwardness of how it stuck out into this area. What do we think about a little catty corner action kind of opening up into the main living space anyways? I do feel like no matter what, maybe we should paint that white because that's just weird. It's not, it looks so random. We'll answer Final question. <laughs> okay, we're done here. We're done. Okay, okay let's stop talking about we're it. Not talking about we're it. not talking about it anymore. But what if. No, I'm just kidding. So, things that we decided last night after we most definitely did not stop talking about it. Um, we want to raise the pipe up instead of going out this hole. We'd rather go up higher. That'll make it easier when we're securing it to the roof outside. Long story short, we're gonna do it higher. Anyways, backsplash, definitely wanna paint it white. Hate the way this looks, so. Yeah, feeling a little bit better about it, but we have to punch a hole in the wall today. Good morning, darling. Hello. So, day two, wood stove, tiny wood stove install. Um, now we gotta get a hole in our house. I'm not too happy. <laughs> I could not take you seriously in that Elver foot hat. Is this your new favorite hat? What hat? You don't like my hat? Oh, it's great. You look very, uh... You never know when your toes need to be shaded. <laughs> this is my wood stove install hat. <laughs> I'm wearing it all day. God bless. Alright, no going back now, huh? Just, oh, it hurts. It just hurts that much more when you're floating. Do we have another hat we could wear? Uh, no. <laughs> just one hat I own. Oh my god. I have a hat collection, a big one. And yeah, I might not put them on all the time or whatever. But Sarah has informed me yesterday that she secretly threw most of them away about a month ago and I never noticed. So now, this is the hat I will be wearing. Don't worry, I'm sure it'll make its way to Goodwill too. Oh my goodness. to have a one inch clearance on this pipe between the gutter and the pipe well anywhere on the pipe okay. one inch clearance from anything combustible and then how far above the overhang does it have to be oh it needs to be two feet above it 
so we'll have to get another little a segment foot. of pipe. We need a two foot section. Okay. For that. Yeah, again with these kits, they send you all kinds of things that you don't necessarily need and not exactly all the things that you do need, so we'll have to supplement. I think you should go into business making functional kits for wood stoves. That's good. Man, I wish it was just a little bit longer. Wish your hat was just a little bit longer. <laughs> Come on. I have to build a support for the pipe because the pipe weighs so much. And so we have this leftover wood. And I'm going to try to build a support out of it. I'm not the best builder, so we don't know how it's going to work. But we're learning. <laughs> we're trying. So what is there left to do today? Well, my baby is never happy, so we're gonna paint this black. Oh, come on. And then we'll probably go back and paint it blue. <laughs> and then after blue, we'll both be like, I like it better silver. <laughs> and so I'll just put on my painting hat. Let's see it, let's see uh, gangster mode. actually better. So I think we need one more black coat on here just to even things up a bit and then paint that white. And we'll be done with the painting and fixing of our mistakes. Obviously one more coat of white on the wall. <laughs> but yeah, looking good. goes. Starting to catch. Now we're not blowing on it. We're choking it. We're dampening it out. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's it, baby. That's all you do. As long as that burns for a long time, that's what you want. When you want to replace it, that's hot as hell. So it's putting out heat. We'll just see what it does. Mm -hmm.